For the first time tonight, we are hearing from the man who is taking over the command of the 57th wing of Nellis Air Force Base. 13 Action News anchor Ross DiMatteo got to speak with Brigadier General Michael Drowley. And Ross joins us live in the studio with his plans to improve operations over at Nellis. Ross. Yeah, Trisha, it is a tall enough task having to lead thousands of men and women who work at Nellis Air Force Base. And you know what makes that even harder is doing that job in the midst of a pandemic. Well, General Drowley says he knows it won't be easy, but he's been training for this moment his entire life. I don't take myself very seriously, but I take the responsibility of wing command very seriously. Meet the man tasked with training some of the best Air Force fighter pilots in the world. Brigadier General Michael Drowley takes over as commander of the 57th wing at Nellis Air Force Base, an achievement he can't quite put into words. This is the crown jewel of the Air Force. I'm the recipient of great leadership, great coaching, great mentorship, and a, and a supportive family. Uh, and that's really the way my family and I look at this is how can we pay it back uh, now that we've received that. He's taking over for Brigadier General Robert Novotny, who became pretty popular during his two years at Nellis. But General Drowley says he doesn't plan to make drastic changes. It's more of a re-emphasis. So when you look at our national strategic environment with the great power competition, that really demands from us high-end readiness. When we look at the things that we do, whether it's Red Flag, Green Flag, the United States Air Force Weapons School, uh, it is ensuring those entities prepare our airmen for, for that strategic environment. General Drowley will have his hands full, balancing how to get peak performance from his pilots while keeping the airmen safe from contracting COVID-19. The team has really found innovative ways uh, to come together to make sure that we can brief, debrief, execute our missions, and still do good things like physical distancing, making sure that we're wearing our mask, uh, and mitigate the virus wherever we can. This is General Drowley's fourth time being stationed at Nellis, so he's no stranger to Las Vegas. Now he's hoping to give back to the city and country that's already given him so much. Las Vegas is a great community, uh, and they're very uh, accepting of the military and making sure that we get what we need. I'm completely humbled. I look at it as I owe Nellis and Las Vegas far more than I, than I can possibly give, and that's why when I come into work every day, it's to try and pay that back in some fashion. And Brigadier General Drowley is already feeling right at home here in Las Vegas. His three kids attend school here in the Valley, and his wife is an orthodontist in the area. And he says one of his top priorities is making sure his airmen feel as welcome here in Las Vegas as he and his family already have. Live in the studio, Ross DiMatteo, 13 Action News. That's awesome.